Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim El Shai brought a thumb to the hopeful elect. This is just a quick lesson to the spirit. Um, I was just meditating on um, dealing with a joint airship. That Yahweh Shai, um, you know, because pretty much everything that he's, he's, because, you know, he's sitting on the right hand of the most high power. You know, um, second in command of the universe, you know, all that power and all that glory, you know, and um, the fact that being that our Lord, he's the most unselfish, he's the most unselfish brother of all, you know, above all brothers. Um, he's actually going to share that with his brothers, you know, and uh, in a group chat, um, this is the group chat that I'm in. Um, Basically, this precept was brought, uh, brought out about the the, 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 the the ten cities and the five cities. But I'm going to get that in this video, you know. But um, just for real quick, I'm uh, um, I'm going to read this here in James chapter two and verse five. This isn't actually what I wanted, but I'm going to read it anyways. It says James two and five. It says, "Hearken, my beloved brethren." Have not the most high chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? Yeah, because you know, um it, it says the same thing in um Revelation. Matter of fact, I'll get that real quick. That was James two. Go to Revelations two and nine it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Alright. <laughs> Because, again, you know, um, being that we're the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we're the Israelites, we're the people of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, right? Yet, you know, um, because of our disobedience, uh, you know, we're in this captivity right now. We're suffering all type of afflictions. Brothers, you know, deal with all type of all type of things, right? Um, so, you know, the Lord knows our works. He knows our tribulation, right? It says, and poverty. You know, because, hey, amen, you know, off the talk about how basically, um, you know, for the most part, brothers ain't rich. All right. Brothers don't have all the, the, the money in the world, you know. Um, you know, off the talk about the, the, the baseline, how about your mouth shot keeps, uh, you know, for the most part, keeps a lot of us because, you know, you do have some brothers that are, you know, uh, well off. You know, they, they, you know, they're good financially, so to say, you know, um, but. As a majority, you know, you know, a lot of us, man, we're just living pay to, paycheck to paycheck. We're just getting by, man. And again, that's all we, that's all we need. Because if we get too much, then it's easy to forget. You how about your shy? You know, you don't really need to pray when you have everything. When you have money and all that stuff, you don't really need to pray. You don't really need your how about your shy. So this is why he keeps us at a at, at a base level. You know, and like I said, for the most part, a lot of us, we're just, you know, we're, we're just, you know, making it, right? Um, it says, but thou art rich. Now, rich in what? rich in what we're rich in faith like i just read in james the second chapter all right you know because um pretty much again part of part of what we believe in is you know when we get the kingdom man um a what, what we're going to get in the kingdom um it, it's going to trump all the, the the riches of this the so-called riches because the riches of this world it's not really it's not real wealth the so-called wealth of this world this society it's not real wealth all right you know, and what we're going to get in the kingdom um, is going to trump, you know, the, the the wealthiest of the wealthiest in, in, in today's society, man. All right. That, that's part of the faith and part of what we what we what we believe in, you know, because, um, hey, man, dealing with the kingdom is going to be a glorious thing. And, you know, again, um, you know, because this, this is this this is, you know, we we we, we truly look forward to this of uh, obtaining the kingdom. You know, we, we really desperately want the kingdom. You know, this is why we're hastening. The, the the coming of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, we are eagerly waiting for 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 you know things to happen, because again, knowing and understanding that all hell has to break loose before we actually get the kingdom. This is why we're hasty, man. We're actually, you know, wanting all hell to break, hurry up and break loose out here, so we can you know the sooner all hell breaks loose, the sooner we can get up out of here. All right, because <laughs> again, you know, like I just said, or like I just said here, you know, the tribulation, man. I know that works and tribulation, you know, because being in this captivity, we're catching all type of hell, right? Like I said, brothers is dealing dealing with all type of all type of stuff, man. You know, um, again it says in poverty, but thou art rich. So, because you know, having this truth, 
basically, man, um, having the truth, we're in a really, real privileged position, you know, um, and brothers got to understand that, man, we, we're in a real privileged position to have this truth, you know, this is, this is, this isn't something that's given to the world, you know, like the scriptures talk about how the Lord, he reveals his secrets unto his service of prophets, man, you know, basically the Lord has given us insight on a lot of things, you know, the things that's getting ready to happen, we have insight on it, you know, and not only are we going to have insight, not only do we, what was Yahweh Shemar Shai gracious enough to give us insight, um, Lord's will would be of the elect, he's actually going to protect us from when all hell breaks loose out here, you know, because, you know, our, our works, right, you know, part of being in this truth, and you, it's, it's more than just being an Israelite, it's more than just calling yourself an Israelite, this isn't some trending fab, all right, this isn't some fashion or, 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 or nothing like that, you know, being an Israelite, you know, there's works that is to be, there's, there's requirements that Yahweh Shemar Shai, you know, he, he, he standards for us to, to, to meet, all right, and as a part of our faith, you know, we, we like the scriptures talk about, we, we we back up our our faith by our works, all right? Faith without works is dead, all right? Um, and again, you know, because everything that we deal with, everything that we suffer, man, the Lord sees it, man, you know, um, the Lord knows exactly what we're going through, all right? You know, um, but again, it says, I know that works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, so again, we're rich in faith, all right, rich in the spirit, all right, you know, you know, we got a lot of, um, put it this, put it like this, man, we got a lot stored in our spiritual bank account, you know, um, reading on it says, and I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, all right, so the point of the point being in the first part, all right, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And again, you know, uh, pretty much everything that we do, um, according to the Lord's will, man, is is is, is just is is just it's it's just adding up to our spiritual bank account, adding up in our sp spiritual bank account. All right, while these people are at, you know, I'm they're not even at zero. Um, they're they're in the negatives, and you see, we're just we're just racking up in our spiritual bank account, man, because we're all working towards that penny. Which is the kingdom? All right, we're all working towards that kingdom, man. The the that that penny, that's what we're all laboring for, you know. But going back to James chapter two, in verse five, hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? So you see, because we are counted as the scum of the earth. All right, to these people, we're just a bunch of niggas, um, you know, that teach on the corner with scruffy beards and, and potato sacks on to these people that's what we are all right we're not men of the how about shemel shah we're not men of the lord you know um and you know this is why you know we're we're, we're kind of as a scum of the earth and not only that you know i mean because you know it's it's, it's kind of broad because you know us being considered the poor man i mean you know you know all these other for the most part a lot of these other nations you know they have their own land you know they have their own things man you know um, but you know, when it comes to the nation of Israel, we don't we don't have our own land, you know. Um, yeah, man, we, we don't have our own land. We don't we, we don't have a military. We 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 don't have nothing, you know. We have to go to the enemy in need of in one of all things, you know, because we don't have nothing, you know. Um, but again, it says, "Have not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith?" So, to back up what I, you know. That's why I read Revelation 2 to back up, you know, this statement here. All right. Because, again, we're rich in faith, we're rich in spirit. All right. We're racking up on our, our spiritual bank account, our spiritual bank notes. You know, reading on, it says in heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. So you see, all right, heirs, joint heirship with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. Because, again, you know, everything that the Lord made, what, 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 what good would it be to have all that, you know, glory and, and, you know, power and, you know, no one to share it with, you know, because again, you know, the, the Lord, our Lord, man, he's the most unselfish brother above all brothers, man. He's going to share all that with his brothers, man. Those that endured. All right. You know, those that did what they were supposed to do in faith and sincerity, you know, the Lord's going to share that, you know, he's going to share all that with it, with his men. All right. The 144,000, man, you know, which is why we strive to be a part of that number, you know, um, Again, in heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. So this is something that's been promised. 
All right, and this is something that we 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 you know, like I said, man, we wholeheartedly look forward to. Because again, man, in the kingdom, amen, it's going to be spectacular. This is something that's being set up, man. You know, I remember watching a video not too long ago um, about a um, about a um, basically because they're discovering how the universe is expanding. It's actually expanding. You know, all that so-called outer space is actually expanding. Esau is coming to find that out. You know. They're discovering new planets, you know, because there's a lot of there's a lot of activity going on out there, you know, and that's no coincidence because that's backed up by scripture, which I'm going to get that as well. But um, just to get this, I think this is the same chapter. This is the chapter where it talks about that joint airship. Yep. Romans 8 and 17, it says, and if children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So you see, right? Again, just touching on the, that joint heirship with Yah with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, you know. Um, and we we can't get it right now because um, we can't get it right now because you know, basically. <clears throat> The Lord has to get his, he has to get his first, you know, he, the Lord gets first dibs. All right. He's getting his hands dirty first, you know, cause you got a lot of Israelites, man. They try to establish the kingdom here on earth, man. They, they try to get all this here on earth, man, you know, and it, it's just not going to work because this is, this is a corruptible, this is a corrupted kingdom. All right. You know, so Yahushua, he has to come first. He has to get his hands dirty first. His glory he has to receive his glory first all right which he already has it in the heavens it just has to be you know given on this earth so you see the most high yahweh he's going to give a uh, glory to his only begotten son here on earth because again he already has it in the heavens all right it just has to be established on this earth and when how shy comes and wrecks havoc best believe hey, amen he's going to get his glory all right, and then when when it's all said and done, that then that's when the 144,000, whoever they may be, all right, they're gonna get, you know, they're gonna have their time to shine, because again, there's gonna be one joint rulership in the kingdom. Yahusha being the top guy, all right, but again, being that he's the most unselfish brother above all brothers, he's gonna share that with his with his men, those that suffered, all right, because believe it or not, you know, hey, I told the brother in the group chat, man, you know, being in this truth, um. He was talking about how being in this truth, man, um, you know, hey, man, it, it, it gets lonely, you know, feel like you're by yourself and it feels like that, you know, even even if you have wife, children, family, whatever the case may be. All right. Um, it, this this walk, can, it can be lonely some. And then, I, uh, you know, I showed them the scripture where it, talk, it tells you endure hardness like a soldier for you. How about Shemel Shai, roughly paraphrasing it, that where a soldier goes into solitary. All right. You know, it was a hey, man, like I said, you know. And in, in, in other words, solitary. In other words, lonesome. You know, this hey, it could be like a, it, it could be lonesome. But know this, like I just read here, it says, if so be that we suffer with him, because you see, suffer with, we 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 we, we suffer with him. You know, because Yahweh Shai, he's right here. He's suffering with us, man. You know, you, you know, you you don't think for a second that Yahweh Shai, just because he's in the heavens with the heavenly Father. You know, and he received his, you know, his glory in the heavens that he's, you know, he's not waiting to come back and get his hands on the people that did, you know, the people that, 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 you know, committed all this wickedness, not only against him, but against his, his people, man. The Lord can't wait to come back and, you know, show these people, these, these men that, that you counted as, as the filth of the world, the scum of the, the scum of the earth. Right. Which, again, this is why, again, you know, we're referred to as the poor man. We're, we're considered fools for Hamashiach. You know, people talk shit, laugh, scorn, do all that. You know, don't think that that doesn't that doesn't sit well with Yahweh Shai, man. So don't think, you know, because, you know, hey, man, being a man of the Lord, people are going to treat you like shit. All right. And in reality, they're not really doing us harm. You, you, you know, you like the scriptures tell you, man, you you um you do harm to one of these little ones, man. Hey, man. You know, you basically touching the, the apple to the Lord's eye, right? 
you know, because, again, you know, when people do us wrong and talk shit, blah, 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 for the truth's sake, you know, um, they're not really, you know, they're not they're not really talking shit about us more so. They're talking shit to Yahweh Shai. And if you talk shit to Yahweh Shai, you're talking shit to the Heavenly Father, man. You know, so these same people that, you know, did the men of the Lord wrong and, and you know, whatnot. Hey, man, Yahweh Shai, he can't wait to get back. He can't wait to come back and show these people those same... You, you same people that wanted to talk shit about my men, all right, you know, now, I, now I'm going to show you what's up. The Lord can't wait to come back and, and show, the, he can't wait to come back and, and show show these people, man, you know, because like I said, don't think just because the Lord's sitting in the heavens, you know, he and he's chilling and he's good. No, man, the Lord can't wait to come back. I like to meet personally, I like to just picture him just pacing back and forth, man, just just wait, waiting for the, waiting for the okay from the heaven for, for uh waiting for the okay from the heavenly father to you know do what he's got to do man you know I, I i just like to picture that sometimes because like the scriptures tell you the lord man he's determined the lord can't wait to come back and and, and, and wreck this place up man you know because like i said man hey you know this walk it could be lonely some but hey just know that the lord is right here with us in the spirit all right he's suffering with us man and this is why we need the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Because you know, if it wasn't for the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man, we'd be dumb, man. What, 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 what would we have, man? You know, we'd be through. You know, it's really though. It's, it's said this before, man. It's, it's the only thing that's really keeping us going is the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, the Comforter. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. Just know and understand that it's with us, man. He, he's comforting us, man. You know, and I'm speaking to myself as well, man. You know, it, 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 it seems like that, man. You know. So we just got to suffer this little while, man, and then we'll be a part of that joint airship. And the Lord's going to give us our glory, man. He's going to give us our respect. All right. You know, because everything Jake seeks for in this kingdom, man, you got to understand, man, everything that Jake seeks for in the king in this kingdom. Um, hey, man, we're, we're going to obtain that. And then some, man, we're going to attain, we're going to attain a lot more than what, 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 what we can even imagine. All right. In the kingdom, man, in our kingdom. We're going to we're going to obtain a lot more than what we can even imagine, man. You know, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And yeah, man. Part of that joint airship. Um, but like I said, um, you know. Dealing with. um, was, was watching not too long ago, man. Uh, how Esau, man, they're discovering new planets. All right. That the, the universe is actually expanding. You know, and that's no coincidence because here in uh, St. John chapter 4, verse 2 says, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. So you see? So again, it's no coincidence the universe is it's, it's, it's expanding. They're discovering new planets and things of that nature, right? Because this is the Lord. He's going to, he's preparing that, you know, like I said before, man, there's a lot of activity going on out there in the heavens, man, so-called outer space. You know, a lot of chariot activity because this is what's being done, man. The, the, the kingdom is being set up for us, man. You know, these mansions, right? Hey, man, we're going to be, we're, we're going to explore, you know, discover new planets. We're going to create new planets, man. It's, it's, I'm telling you, man, when it comes to the kingdom, it's going to be far out there, man. It's, 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 it's far beyond our comprehension as of right now. Like the scripture said, I have not seen, man. I have not seen the things that is prepared for us, man. What we got waiting for us, man. We can't even begin to imagine, you know. But, hey, those that endure, all right, those that endure the afflictions, man, they're, hey, this is this is what they got, got to look forward, forward to, all right. Because, again, what good would it be, you know, Yahusha has all this and no one to share it with. So you see, this is why Yahushua, he's going to, you know, he's going to share all this with his brothers, man. He's going to share all this with his men, right? And this is the kingdom that's being established, man. This, this is what's being set up. The kingdom is being prepared for us, all right? Um, read that again. In my father's house are many mansions, all right? It's not talking about, you know, a uh, 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 100,000 square foot, six bedroom, five bedroom, uh, uh, six bedroom, five bathroom, you know, it's not talking about that type of mansion. All right. Again, the different planets and, and you know, the different galaxies we're going to be exploring and, and, and stuff like that, man. All right. Because real quick, I'm going to get this. I'm going 
get this and um, Acts chapter 7 verse I'll start at verse 48 it says how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands as saith the prophet it says heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool all right what's between what's between the heavenly father the throne of the heavenly father and earth all that outer space man all, all that you know so-called outer space man you know that's that's the lord's footstool man you know and that, that's that's pretty much what it's talking about or slack here the earth is the lord's footstool but um let me read on it says what house will ye build me saith the lord or what is the place of my rest right um but again it says heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool right so you know again the the the, the where the heavenly father is at right you know the, the the throne of the almighty power right and, and and earth being the footstool um um uh, uh, of Yahweh Shemel Shai, right? Because again, the Lord, you know, he he doesn't deal in, like I just read in four, verse forty-eight. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. So where does the Lord dwell, man? Pretty much, he's everywhere. Pretty much, right? You know, you know the spirit. You know, hey man, you you can't contain you can't contain the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai in, in in some 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 building, man. All right, and you see, you know. Again, dealing with the, 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 you know, the, all that that's out there, man. All right. You know, um, basically, man, this, this is, this, this is the, this is the house of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, you know, just, just trying to, you know, fathom that, which again, it can't be fathomed. Right. But with all that, you know, outer space and, you know, the, all, all that that's out there, man, you know, um, which again, you know, we're going to be those who are, we're of the elect, we're going to, you know. Uh, uh, have access to all of that, man, because the Lord is going to share that with us. You know, He's going to share all that with us, and and we get this ten cities, because you see, this is where, you know, this is why, hey, Amen. You know, the scriptures tell you, man. Um, we don't know if we're of the elect, but the scriptures tell you, um, or the scriptures say, I, I believe it was the Apostle Paul. He said. I dare not count myself, uh, put myself into that number, roughly paraphrasing it, basically saying we don't just walk around just because we're, you know, doing the work. We don't, we don't, we don't, you know, well, I'm, I'm definitely of the elect, you know, uh, you know, you know, I might be, you know, a hundred and, and, you know, cause it's a hundred, it's going to be 144,000 men, right? That's going to be the pillar, the functioning body, the government in our kingdom. All right. Start with again, Yahweh Shai, he's going to be the top guy. Right, and then you're gonna have the 144,000. That's gonna be the functioning body. That's gonna be the government of the whole universe, man. All right. Um, but again, you know, not walking around. Well, I'm definitely ugly. Like just because you're out there teaching, you know, just because you're doing the videos, just because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, that doesn't mean, you know, because brothers fall out all the time. Brothers that have been diligent, brothers that have been in the truth for a long time, man, they fall out. You know, and that's why the, the scriptures tell you to us to endure until the end. All right, because again, we're all working for that penny at the end of the day, you know. But, um, like I said, you know, I believe it was Apostle Paul. He said, I dare not put myself in that number. But then there's another part of the scriptures that it tells you we put on the work as, as as if we're of the elect. Because what are the elect? The, or what are the elect? What what are they going to do, man? They're going to do what Yahweh Shemel Shah told them to do, right? If you love me, keep my commandments, right? You know, so hey. The elect, hey, they're gonna follow Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, where the soul ever he goeth, man. They're gonna do the works of Yahweh Shai, right? You know, because we want to please the Lord, man. You know, we want to please the Lord, man. We want, we want to please our power, man. You know, so that's what the elect they're gonna do. So that's why we put on the work as if we're of the elect, not saying that we are the elect. Um, you know, definite. But um, I'm gonna get this in Luke 19. Start of verse 12, it says, He said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far kingdom to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and ten and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. So you see, we're supposed to occupy 
until Yahweh Shai comes, you know, and, and redeems us, man. We're supposed to constantly be working, man. No days off, right? Um, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message out to him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when the king, when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded his servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he may know how much every man had gained by trading. Because when we get this truth, we're supposed to flip it. We're supposed to bring forth fruit because every tree not bringing forth fruit is going to be cut off and is going to wither away. You know, we're supposed to flip it, you know. Um, the Lord gave us a talent, man. We're supposed to do something with it. We're not just supposed to just sit on it and let it go to waste. And I believe it tells you that here in this in this parable it says, and he said unto him, Well, thou good. It's like verse 16. It says, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little thing, have thou authority over ten cities. So you see, one one particular servant, he's gonna have uh, 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 authority over ten cities, which is a very significant, um, you know, uh, 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 basically, uh, it's, you know, it's a pretty big responsibility, you know. Um, it says in the second came saying, "Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds," and he said likewise to him, "Be thou also over five cities." So you see, um, the and, and the point that I'm getting out of this is, like I already said, John 14 and 2, um. The Lord is preparing a kingdom for us, man, you know, and being that we're part of that joint airship. All right. The Lord is going to give each and each of the 144,000 men a specific, um, you know, authority over, you know, a, a specific section, you know, so to say, because, you know, every every brother of the 144,000, um, you know, they're going to be on different levels. All right. You know, they're going to have different responsibilities and, 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 you know, things of that nature, you know, you know, um, because, you know, it's, it's going to be an order to things. So every brother's not going to be on the same level. Every brother's not going to have this, this, the same duties and responsibilities, so to say, you know, um, and, and, you know, basically this is kind of what it's, you know, uh, talking about, you know, having having rulership in the kingdom, man, you know. Authority over, you know, whatever, whatever, man, you know, because again, you know, it's just, just dealing with the kingdom and, and what the Lord has set up for us, man. I, 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 can't, I can't, you know, I can't fathom it. But nevertheless, the Lord is going to give us, you know, again, being that we're part of that joint airship, the Lord is going to give us, you know, authority over, you know, these, you know, uh, uh, specific sections and, and provinces and things of that nature. You know, some brothers are going to have rule over this, you know, this particular guy seeing these different planets and, you know, he's going to have responsibilities over, over here and another brother's going to have responsibilities. He's going to be given, you know, the responsibilities of, of, of this galaxy and over here and over this section. So you see, man, and again, that goes all the way down, you know, every, each brother from the 144,000, man, they're going to have a different uh, a rule. They're going to have a stake in uh, being a part of that 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 governing body, you see that 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 because again dealing with the hundred forty four thousand men, they're the they're going to be the pillars in the kingdom. All right, and this is what we strive for, man. You know, and you see, Jake, they 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 don't they don't want this. They they don't think about this stuff, man. They want to stay here. That's why when you, like I just read it here when you read up. Verse fifteen it says, and it came to pass that when he was returned, however, was slack here, reading up. Verse 14, it says, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. So you see, Jake, man, they, they don't want no part of this, man. They don't want to submit themselves to the to the order of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. They want, to, they want to stay here partying bullshit, man. You know, and that's fine because, you know, hey, you know, basically our chances, you know, will be somewhat higher, you know, the more the, uh, the you know, the more jakes you have bugging out and, and you know not wanting to you know um you know get down with the program hey basically i look at it like this it makes my chances higher you know and, and you know possibly being one of these pillars in the kingdom man and, and you know being a part of that functioning body man making it on the first go round, man that just makes my chances higher you know because hey, i'm gonna tell you man if you're in the truth man you know um and even more so you're falling after the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai, which starts with the men of Great Millstone, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that hey man, you got a you got a good chance. You know, you have a you have a good chance, man. 
You know, you're on the right path, man. You know, but you see, Jake, they don't think about these things, man. They want to stay here. They want to party and bullshit. They, they don't want to submit themselves to the natural order of your about you shy. So the hell with them, you know, and that's why, you know, hey, a lot of them are, uh, matter of fact, let me read on down. Um, cause you know, you had the one servant that didn't do anything with his talent. And what did the Lord say? I'm going to just read it. Verse 27 says, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them, bring hither and slay them before me. So you see, you know, these Jakes, man, they're going to die. All right. It's just that point being simple. These Jakes, they're going to end up, they, they're going to get killed, man. You know, but yeah, man, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end up there, man. I'll just, you know just a, a spiritual rant so to say you know stuff to, that we got to look forward to man the kingdom is being prepared for us as we speak you know it's no coincidence like i said they they you know they're finding out that the universe is expanding and you know so on and so forth because this is what's being prepared for us man you know we just got to suffer this little season right endure the bullshit that we got to endure and then the kingdom's coming man the, the, the kingdom come all right so with that, hopefully this was edifying to whom it may concern. Giving all credit to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All acknowledgement to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Broke a thumb to the hopefully legs. Until next time, those well. I say shalom.